Wake up, people! This is Ted here with another Word Nerd Wednesday. It's great to see all your smiling faces. You're watching the premier Word Origins and Derivations channel. It's not just words you don't know, but it's where does the word come from? And if you like this content, go to my YouTube channel and like and subscribe and ring that bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. Okay, so this week's word comes from a friend who posted on Facebook that he did not know the derivation of this word, or that this word was a shortened version of another word. Shout out to John Wallace, the best Sweeney Todd I've ever seen. And so the word for this week is is perk. You know what perk means? It's got three definitions, actually. The first one is perk, like perk up. You know, when you're sleepy and you perk up? Or, as referred to a woman's breast, perky. That began around 1937. And the derivation of the verb comes from the word perch. I guess the bird sits on the perch when he's cleaning his plumage. He perks up. And the other verb is perk, is short for percolate. You percolate coffee. And that derivation comes from Latin percolatus, from percolare, which means to strain through. Makes total sense for coffee. But the third definition is the noun that John didn't know. Perk is short for perquisite, a thing regarded as a special right or privilege enjoyed as a result of one's position, the perks of the job. And it means the thing sought after. In Latin, per querere, which has per means thoroughly, querere is to seek. So it has the general meaning of a fee or profit on top of regular wages. So there you go. I never knew that perk was short for perquisite. That's the word for today. And just remember, guys, it's never too late to redo, rebuild, reboot, restart, rekindle, rebirth your life. You can always turn it around and go in any direction you like. Let's create a renaissance on Earth. Oh, and one more thing. It's time for the percolator. It's time for the percolator.